Hello, 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 and we paint the dog and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, since the last episode, you saw me took down uh, Coyote in this area. Where are we now? Around here. But since then, I went to this outpost and I fast traveled, I believe that's by vehicle, to this outpost. Now, the southern ridge is this entire area, Leighton Lowe's is this area, and then uh, the lake district is over there. So I'm going to stay in the southern ridge, for a simple reason, this point of interest is the trickster. So I'm going to go in that direction. If you can remember the trickster, codex, where are we? Landmarks, I know, points of interest. The trickster. The coyote features prominently as a trickster. Now that's why I'm thinking of walking in this direction. It's about 23 minutes. Everything goes according to plan. Then we'll get there. So I'll bring you back. I'll cut out so you don't have to sit here for 23 minutes watching me walk. But especially since we'll be walking like this most of the way. But let me just quickly get over this. But I'll bring you back when, or if, not if, but more than when, as I, you know, ah, as I initially said, when and not if something happens or we find something along the way, and then we can take it from there. So uh, I hope I'll see you now. And I just spotted something up ahead. Moving really erratically. I believe it might have been a bear. Oh no. So why tell why did I think it was a bear? Like seriously. that warning thump what are you gonna do attack me let's claim this jackrabbit I expect zero integrity yeah but let's move it along let's get that out let's keep it cool take a look at the map it would be 23 minutes if i would walk straight there but this is a mountain and i skyrim my way up there once i'm not gonna do that again so i'm just gonna uh, skirt around this mountain close to this road and then walk up to there that's the idea so let's try and do this i'm still raining like hell and actually, it rained here, where I'm living now, for the last couple of years. It started raining earlier this evening. Which is actually weird because we don't get winter or autumn rain. That was really weird. And it's starting to get really cold. And it's only going to get colder, but it's, it's during winter, so it's expected. And you have to have cold winters. But it was really just weird. And I really enjoy rain. For once for once in a while. But as soon as I get to the second or third day of constant rain. Not thunderstorms, that soft pitter patter rain. I get really, really depressed. Give me a high felt or a low felt thunderstorm. Like a genuine thunderstorm. Any day. I really enjoy those. It brings calmness to my soul. But... However, then again, I grew up with those things. My future brother-in-law, he came from the Northern Cape, the deep Northern Cape, where they would sometimes get rain once or twice a year, but not really thunderstorms. The first time when we started studying, yeah, I introduced him and my sister. He's one of my best friends. And uh, the 
the first time in our first year when he experienced the first thunderstorm he wanted to climb under his bed because he wasn't used to it but now he's living in the low felt where his thunderstorms are the norm and now he actually enjoys it and again I don't know why I always tell you these kinds of weird random things about my life but I believe it's this game it's too relaxing but let's use this lure of a caller a bit I'm beginning to think that most of the, the game species in this game tend to stick closest to the roads now in uh, when you lay out your game farm or reserve you usually place the touristy roads on ecotones where there's a transition between for instance uh, forested area and grassland so then people can see species from both of those habitats while driving on one road now, i don't i don't believe these roads are laid out with that mentality in mind but yeah, it might be Let's take a quick peek. These areas. Close to a road. Close to a road. This one relatively close to a road. Or is that a... I can't remember if that is a road or railroad. But no, that's a road. That's a railroad. This one. A road. Now that one's a bit weird, but that was a jackrabbit. Yeah, I don't know. It might be, it might hold some truth. I'm not sure, but that's just my observation now. But let me walk a bit slower, and I'll see you now. So as usual, this wouldn't be a normal hunting trip with me if I didn't get sidetracked by something along the way. And now it's a white-tailed deer. It's on my way to this need zone where I got the warning call. So let's walk a bit slower. That was a bit off center. But let's get this blood trail. Oh, it's still a vital hit. Ah, oh, there he is. Need zone. Let's go and collect our trophy. Do 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 do. A nice stroll through the woods. Luckily, I took down the scope for that one. Otherwise, it would have been what? No, it wouldn't have, have been that bad. Never huge magnification scope on this rifle, or any rifle in this game, for that matter. Flash left lung. Oh, not too shabby. Now we can get a move on to the rally point again, to the trickster point of interest. And here we are at the. Jack of the jackal, the, the trickster point of interest. Now I know, just because it's called the trickster for the coyote, it doesn't mean that we will definitely find a coyote here. But I believe, or I feel that they will place this here because this is like coyote central. With obviously the finding coyote here at random times, and they decided, now nah, let's let's erect a point of interest over here to describe what the native people used to say about the, the coyote i feel like that would be something that would be like something that i would do now from here on out i'm going to go to this hunting structure right there i feel like if we stay sit there and call and call we we will probably find a coyote. I'm so tempted. 
I'm so tempted. The thing is, she's in range of that. I don't really want to scare her off or anything else off by hunting her. Uh, let's do something like that. See, no, because I didn't make any contact, I believe. Let's just go make sure that there is no blood there. But I actually have to travel in that direction to get to the hunting structure. Which is okay. Let's get our 270 out and then press our hotkey for our caller. Now you can just press Q to switch out between the two. Which is kind of nice. Q and then we are back to uh, that one. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm going to go to that hide and I'll see you now. And we just found a coyote need zone. Resting around here. See. Close to that hunting structure and we are in the right time period for this need zone so let's quickly go and see these tracks hopefully they are of a coyote that haven't that didn't pass through here too long ago that would be awesome but I feel like I already got these need these need zones when I went to the trickster and explored the surrounds. The last time I wanted, I needed to shoot the coyote. I feel like I should have got this. Okay, let's quickly stand up. And let's have a quick peek. Please don't run away. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Okay, now let's sit down again. Up there. He's fat. Oh, come on. Just give... Why are you do like this? That's a warning call. Again from that direction. But I can't see you. I'm probably doing the wrong thing now by walking. Or moving but I just want to get another angle it's up there somewhere but let's just walk like this the rain is helping us immensely Very off. Well, that's a white. Yeah, white tail jackrabbit. I feel like I made a right assumption. Previous video when I said that it's white tail jackrabbit. Since the first caller is for a distressed, uh, as a distressed jack jackrabbit for the smaller predators, just makes sense that we are in the same area. Up there. Just saw something bolt. That would probably have been the coyote. And now the rain stopped. Damn it. That was helping us so much. But I'm just gonna walk slowly. We will probably find him or her again. If we just walk slowly. 
one at a time. So we don't chase it further and further away. I don't really want to use a caller now with that because that will be a dead giveaway. But let's see. We might be able to Oh it's just it's a it's a girl coyote. Let's just walk slowly. And hopefully we'll find her again. And I just got a warning call again. This time from over here. So let's go prone. And let's crawl a bit closer. Get the scope of a rifle. And on the 270. Just for now. So she call from this direction. As you can see the tracks. I've been following her for quite a while now. Quite a while. <laughs> Not really that long. Greater scheme of things. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I don't see any tracks, but the call is definitely from this direction. Ah, there you go. Let's claim our trophy. That should round out their numbers a bit. Great job. If you ever spot a watchtower in the distance with the lights on, that's probably our local fire lookout, Emily Connors, doing one of her final rounds for the season. Emily's been coming out to the reserve for many years, working as a fire lookout and doing some writing on the side. Actually, she's on her third <laughs> When I talked to her this morning, she told me she lost her notebook on one of her hikes. Unfortunately, she won't be able to retrace her steps for a couple of days, so I figured I might ask you for help while her tracks are fresh. That notebook means everything to her, so there'd be a nice finder's fee. Okay. So that, I believe that's the next mission, but let's quickly go and collect. Hopefully we, we, we got this trophy. Let's not get too cocky. She probably lost it while Oogle and a Roosevelt elk. She can't get enough of them. Even helped out with some research during her time here. Of course, she might have been staring at something or someone else. <laughs> okay, that was a bit glitchy. Let's run over here. So, I suppose we need to do something about the black bears in Valmont. If they've been moving east from Leighton Lowe's, then Hope may not be the only person they could come across. Have you hunted a black bear before? These migrating ones are likely younger and smaller than an adult, but that doesn't mean it'll be easy by any stretch. I think it'll go far to just harvest a single one. The hunting pressure should motivate the rest to turn back towards Leighton. Okay. So I believe we've got a couple of new missions. This is actually a really beautiful area. Like genuinely beautiful. You'll notice that bears are really difficult to track. They'll rarely let out a call. And their senses of smell and hearing are so good that they'll probably notice you before you even catch sight of them. Warning thump. Ah, let's reload. So this area is really, really rich in animals. Or black tails, for that matter. And then that occasional 
thump from a jackrabbit. Now I didn't even see one jackrabbit previously in game, and now they're everywhere. They don't tell me I didn't even wound. Okay, I did. Flesh wound. Damn it. Let's just track this animal. Let's go. What direction did you go? So you've traveled over here. A very low bleed rate. That's too bad. I know we basically finished this, but I just want to get the uh, then we can stop this episode on a high note. Do 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 do. Just doodling along. This area I really like. Okay, there she is. Definitely not a quick kill bonus. Let's not get distracted. Okay, but that thing is really close. Really, really close. Let's just crouch down. Just want to look around if there's something else around here. That might be of interest. Do we try and call this one closer? Come here, come here. I know I said we were going to stop after that one, but if they're this close, why not? Okay, they can't see me from front. Can't hear me because I'm not moving. Hello. Let's see. Change my angle a bit so I can spot this animal. Mm, this might have been a jackrabbit. It got me. Otherwise, it, a deer would have called back. Am I right? But there was a deer up front. Yeah. Might be nothing of interest to us. With that in mind, let's call this the end of this episode. And I hope to see you for the next one. Cheerio.